What are you? What are you doing? Literally me. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name's Samantha, but you can call me Sam. And um, today we're starting a brand new Let's Play. The first one on my channel. We're doing the Legacy Challenge, which I am super excited for. I've never actually done this challenge. I've never played it in my own personal gameplay, so it's something new for me. Um, I am actually going to be playing as my sim self, which is very exciting. Um, I just thought um, it's just a bit different. Um, I did have quite a hard time making myself, which I will show you very shortly. But um, I just thought it's a nice way, as this is a fresh channel, it's a nice way for you guys to get to know me a bit more personally as I play as my sim self. I did want to say uh, thank you so much for all the support on this channel so far. I know some of you have come over from my old channel, Sam Sims. So thank you so much if you have, it means a lot to me. I've had um, a good welcome back. You've all been amazing. And if you are coming across my channel for the first time, um, welcome and I hope you stay along for the journey. I hope you enjoy this Let's Play. So I think people play the Legacy Challenge in different ways. There is a point system you can do, which I will be doing. I think there's an, a total of 100 points you can get through over the 10 generations, which we will be playing. You're not allowed to use any cheats. There is um, quite a few mods in my game, but if it does class as cheating, I will not use that mod. So yeah, basically we're gonna be starting as myself um, and yeah, and then just continue the generations. So the basic rules are, I've wrote it all down here. There's, I've wrote all the points down, everything you can get. Um, I was gonna print it off, but one, I don't have a printer and two, I just like, I'm the type of person that likes writing things down. So um, you do have to start as a young adult. You do have to start on a 50 by 50 lot, which is gonna be crazy because that is a, that's quite a big lot. This is gonna be hard. You can't leave the game without saving unless you have technical difficulties. So if someone dies, you can't go out the game and go back into it and save them, which is gonna be hard. You have to have the game on a normal lifespan and you're not allowed to ever um, move from the lot. You always have to stay on that lot. Obviously you can go places, but you have to stay on that lot throughout all the generations Okay, so when it comes to the heirs of the generations, there is some laws that you have to pick. So there's a gender law, a bloodline law, and an heir law. So I've already picked these. For my gender law, I've picked um, the strict equality, which is the founder maybe of either gender, however, only children of the opposite gender to the founder are, founder are eligible to be named heir. Can't get my words out today. So basically, um, I start as my sim self, which is obviously female, so my next heir for the next generation has to be male, and then it will go female, male, female, male. I do normally play with females, but I thought for this generation, just mix it up a bit, and it'd be quite fun to play with male sims a bit more. And obviously, the heirs that we have are the ones we're going to be concentrating more on. The bloodline law I have picked, strict uh, traditional to be eligible to be named heir a child must be naturally born from the previous generation's parents and can be able to trace an unbroken bloodline back to the founder so i'm not planning to have adopted children and um, well i'm not not that i'm saying i'm not planning to have adopted children in this um, let's play but they can't be the heir i just thought um just because it'd be cool to see like you know like the features of the sims being passed down and stuff like that and then lastly, the um, air law, um, I have picked firstborn. So yeah, so when I have a baby um, in this generation, if it's a girl first, we have to have another one to have a boy. Um, so yeah, they're basically um, the rules. I am going to link the all of the rules in the description down below and also the point system, because there's a lot to that. There's a lot to go through and um, I just want to jump into the gameplay. So let's me my sim <laughs> before i show you my sim self i just wanted to say first of all i hope my um face cam is an all right size it took me ages to just figure it out and i won't i don't know i just i can't remember how i used to have it so i might have to figure that out and also i made her look pretty much like me okay and then i put a skin on her and then she didn't look like me so <laughs> This is the best I could do. Now she is, um, she's, I think she's a stunning sim and she is um, definitely more attractive than me. Not putting myself down or nothing, but she is. I think the only thing I've really got down to a T is the ears. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The lips, 
I think the lips are quite, quite like mine. The nose, it's so hard to do noses. And when you're making your sim self, it's really hard not to judge your features and everything. I've got like a kink in my nose here, but you can't get them in the sims, can you? So that's a bit annoying. Um, I think the eyebrows aren't too bad. They are, they are a bit not perfect because I always can't be bothered to pluck my eyebrows, so you know. And the eyes, mm, not very happy with the colour because my eyes are like, I can never remember. If they're green, oh, it's my own eyes. I'm going to have to look in the mirror. I know I've got green and brown in my eyes, but I can never remember which way round it is. <laughs> Which is silly because it's my eyes. I'm just going to look at my camera. So then, <laughs> I've just looked at my camera. So my eyes are like green on the outside and then brown in the middle. But I couldn't find out eyes like that. But my eyes have always been pretty much more brown. So I've left them as brown. I have made myself a computer whiz. Now I'm not the best at computers, but I'd really love to be. And I love gaming. And I was going to pick a family um, aspiration, but because I'm very family oriented, but I thought I'd wait until we finish this aspiration if we do. I've also put myself as a goofball, family oriented and a foodie. It was between foodie and neat, but I do want her to max the cooking skills, so I went for foodie. Okay, these are the outfits that I've picked for myself. Um, I am very boring when it comes to clothes. I just, I'm a bit of a plain Jane, to be honest. I always want to uh, put more color and stuff into my wardrobe, but, this is just me. I'm just a bit plain. <laughs> um, this is my second outfit. I love being cosy as well. I think this is so cool. I probably wouldn't have the netted bit, but I really liked the jumper. And I live in trainers, so I'm probably in trainers in the next one as well. I am indeed. Oh, look. <laughs> Pretty much the same shirt. I love oversized shirts. And I'm... Um, I don't always wear my hair up. I do wear it down quite a lot, but I couldn't get my length either. My hair is pretty long. If I stand up a bit, my hair is pretty long, but I um, don't even know if you could see that, but I didn't really have my length. I need to do some more CC shopping. But anyway, they're my everyday outfits. This is my formal wear. I see formal wear as if you're going to a wedding or something, so I thought that was really cute. This is my athletic wear, just nice and plain. I love black, if you can't tell. These are my pyjamas, thought they were super, super cute. I want to download some Harry Potter pyjamas, because that's what I live in, to be honest. Um, this is party wear. This is quite brave for me. Um, I don't know if I'd wear this properly in real life. I'd love to, but I don't know if I could pull it off. But that's what The Sims is all about. This is about what, you, you know, you can make your sim self be anything you want to be. I know you can do that in real life too, but I probably wouldn't go to a party. I mean, I'm 32 this year. It's a bit risky, but um, I think she looks amazing. So maybe one day, who knows? This is swimwear, once again, plain black. This is my hot weather outfit for now. I don't really love it, but I didn't, um, I'm addicted to CC if you didn't know. So I'm a bit, I didn't really have much for hot weather wear in, CC, in my CC collection. So I will have to do some CC shopping, but that would do for now. And then um, cold weather wear. So yeah, this is her. I actually think she's super cute. I know she looks nothing like me, but you know, I tried my best. It was perfect until the skin went on, but you, I need a skin in The Sims. They just don't look good enough. <laughs> I forgot to say, we're also in the, oh, God, I'm gonna say this wrong, Simlissy save. I hope I said that right, I don't know. Oh my gosh, what's this? Chocolate parfait? Well, thanks for that, but, um, you know, just leave that on my doorstep. Um, so this is our lot, 50 by 50. We only have 1,800 simoleons. That's all that we're allowed to start with. So that's literally gonna do us a bed a shower, a hope, a toilet and a fridge. I don't even know if I can have enough money to build a room. Yeah, we just need to get the cheapest stuff and I really hope that we can then um, build a room around that because she's not gonna wanna go for a pee pee when there's people walking past. <laughs> just put a bed down and then I think, um, let me just build a wall and then I can hopefully afford a mini fridge. I mean, there should be barbecues around here and stuff. So hopefully we can just do that. We're going to need a door as well, aren't we? Oh my gosh. Okay. I think we'll be able to afford a mini fridge. So that's good. There's no point in putting a normal fridge out here because if it rains, it's just going to um, 
It's just going to break. I mean, mm, no, that's probably not the best door because people can see through. I just want a cheap door. Look, 50. 50 simoleons. That's what I'm talking about. I hate that we're not even be able to put wallpaper on here. Um, that's really annoying. When it comes to the roof, I'm literally thinking of doing that. I know it looks ridiculous, but if it rains, then surely our bed won't get wet. I mean, <laughs> Oh, that looks so bad, but um, we're rolling with it, we're rolling with it. Let's see if we can get a mini fridge. Okay, we can afford the hand-me-down one. So that's fantastic. Um, let's just um, put it there. Okay, so we've got 180 simoleons. I wonder if I can... I'm not going to be able to, am I? If I can extend the wall. But then she's not going to be able to put the bed in there anyway. There's no way that can possibly fit. That's very annoying. Okay, let's just, um, I mean, can I even afford a light? I knew this was gonna start off being hard, but not this, I mean, I can get a wall light, but not this hard. It's just a bit, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> so, I don't even have my headphones in. Always do this. Okay, I do want her to get a job, but I think for, oh my god, look how green this grass is compared to the rest. That looks so fake. Looks like AstroTurf. Oh no, I didn't put the, um, I didn't put that back. Yeah, I do want her to get a job, but for the time being, I haven't even got a bin. I'm getting so distracted. For the time being, I think we should just like look around for collectibles and stuff. And then, oh no, do you know what? I should have bought the selling table because that, we could have just boosted the prices up and got some money. I also do want her to, I do want to get her into gardening because that can help you make a lot of money, honey. But I did also want to say it's Valentine's Day today. So wherever you are in the world, I want to wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. Whether you're in a relationship or you are a single Pringle like myself, um, I hope you have a lovely day. I'm planning to eat loads of chocolate after I've recorded this <laughs> why not eh? why not eat all the chocolate um now a part of the point system is actually collectibles um so there is quite a few things you can collect yeah there's loads aliens crystals fish elements fossils frogs gardening insects metals microscope pr mi micros can't speak microscope prints and my sim trophies so even though we're probably gonna sell them at the moment. Yeah, we will eventually collect all of them. I hope. It's quite hard, isn't it? Especially with the gardening, like some of the plants are in the um, vacation uh, places. So we'd have to travel there to get all them. But it's cool, we have 10 generations. Do we each have a phone call? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Literally me. <laughs> so funny oh no I can't even literally so funny um, I don't really seem to be that much stuff around here which is pretty annoying because we need the money honey um, I'm just gonna sell oh no I want the sellers table let's see how much it is okay it's 300 simoleons that's really annoying Come on, love. She's just playing with the butterflies. What are you doing? Um, we do need to find uh, a man as well for our dear Samantha. Um, but yeah, we don't need to do that straight away. I just want to, like... The thing is, like, when you bring um, another person into the household, you can't take any of their money. So obviously it would help with another person having a job. Who's this man? See, this is going to be hard because I'm going to be picky because I'm going to be like... No, no Lorenzo. <laughs> right, if we start selling some of this stuff, 100 simoleons, yes. I don't think much stuff has actually spawned because like, what, what are we in summer? Yeah, I have also, um, when it comes to seasons, I've done each season to be um, two weeks long, two sim weeks, because I think one sim week just isn't enough. I don't think that's breaking the rules. It's nothing to do with the gameplay, so hopefully not. Okay, looks like we can afford the table now, so maybe if we uh, just catch some fish and sell the fish, we can be, you know, have a fish market or something. <laughs> 
it does take a little while to get into this challenge um, because obviously at the beginning it can be quite stressful like trying to make money and everything like I said I am going to get her a job there's no fish oh my golly gosh um, so yeah it can be quite there's quite a lot to do at the beginning I'm just so annoyed like these plants it would be good um, when we can build um, a greenhouse because then it doesn't matter what season the plant is in I would quite like to um, get one of like get every plant like complete that collection I've never done that before but there's so many plants in this game she just keeps stopping to do this like Egyptian dance and like <laughs> just hilarious can you please you're acting really silly it's because she's a goofball isn't it she is a tad hungry so i might just get her and she needs a wee i might just get her to use the toilet have something quickly to eat and then maybe go to a bar or something see if we can meet some people see this is the exciting bit playing as yourself because you've got to think what would you like as a snack a ham and cheese sandwich sounds pretty delicious it is actually lunchtime right now um and i'm pretty hungry so a ham and cheese sandwich would go down a treat. I really hate this hot weather outfit. I really need to do some CC shopping. I do think she's pretty cute though. You can tell it's me by the ears, I think. <laughs> but other than that, why is she looking really salty for? What's up? Is that not a good sandwich? Just like my life. I have to sleep outside. I have no, I have no wallpaper. <laughs> I'm eating out of a mini fridge. Just think though, this lot in a couple of generations, it's gonna be amazing. But you won't be around to see it anymore, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh. Okay, she's nearly finished her sandwich. I know you can make money, quite a lot of money from like writing books and painting, but that's like, I wouldn't personally do that. I mean, I can't even draw a stick man very well, to be honest. Let's go and find somewhere to go. Now gardening, it's not as if I'm into gardening, but I did get plants for my birthday last year, even though they're not alive anymore. <laughs> but I quite like, is I actually quite find it quite peaceful gardening, so that's why I wanted her to get into it. And we are in Willow Creek over here, by the way. I was going to go here, but I didn't want to ruin the park. So, um, yeah, let's look for a bar. Okay, let's just go to Oasis Springs. Oh, there's one over here. Llama Lanes. Oh, that's a bowling alley. Also, what I really, I just want to show you quickly, what I really liked about um, this uh, Simlissy save is, how cute is this? So you've done like um, a bridal shop, so you can go and buy your, uh, your dressing gown, <laughs> your wedding uh, dress. So I thought that was really cute. I thought like when we get married, we should definitely go there. Oh, Sam, I'm just not loving your outfit right now. Oh, happy hour. Now, we shouldn't really spend our money, but personally, if I come to a bar, I'm having a drink. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder what her favourite drink would be, and I wonder if it would be... He's quite cute. You know, it's a bit sad. Zachary. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's have a little... Let's have a little nose. Can you look, can you look up? Can you look up? I'm not going to lie, guys. I actually think he's super cute. I bet he's married. I mean, if we CC him up a bit, he's got really chubby cheeks. It's so cute. Let's give him um, exchange names introduction. I think that's a mod. And I feel like that's a bit cheaty because that might, I think that gets your relationship up quite a bit. What's your favourite drink? What have we got, Sam? Okay, that's not your favourite drink, my love. That's fine. I would, I mean, fizzy fruity drink sounds nice. But if I'm at a pub or a bar, like, are we going to say hello to Zachary or not? Yeah, but if I was in a pub or a bar, I reckon I'd have a glass of wine, to be honest. Or a tea Maria. That relationship bar is gone up already. Let's see if we can make him feel a bit better. Let's discuss interests with him. Oh, we're bored. That's because you didn't get a wine. <laughs> we can check on Zachary. I think that is a mod. See how he's doing, because it doesn't... I can... Why do I keep clicking on romantic? Stop! <laughs> Ask about how his day's been. I am just a little bit down, Samantha. Thank you for checking up on me. Well, we've made him happy, so that is good. Are you gonna Are you gonna drink your drink? Let's see if he's got a career because you know we need the money, honey. Oh, do you know what? We would probably find out if he's single. 
because I don't really want to be. Oh, it's a journalist. Oh, I don't really want to be a home wrecker. So I hope there is some single men in this town. Otherwise, I'm probably going to have to put some in. He's single. Where are you going? Come back. I would never just go to a bar and hit on a guy. I mean, I haven't been single in a long time. So let's goof around. So I wouldn't even know what to do. I really wouldn't. Why are you so bored, Sam? You're talking to an attractive life. Oh my God, I should have picked her personality type. I'm going to quickly do that. That is the slice of life mod. Yeah, I just want to see which one would suit me best. I feel like I'd be the nurturer. Very dedicated and warm protectors. Popular leisure activities for ISFJs include cooking, gardening, painting, and crafts, picnic, nature walks, and watching movies. They are also found supporting their loved ones in their interests and activity. Yeah, I'm gonna be that one. I don't know which one they gave her actually, but that is a bit of me. Oh, does he not like it? Oh, oh he does, I'm gonna say, if you didn't like that, then uh, like you're a no-go. What if we found our husband in the first episode? Okay. Okay, because we're getting to know him. I need to modify him. <laughs> He's not bad, but... I have to do this. I do it in my own gameplay. If I get friends with a sim or romantic with them, like I have to give them a makeover. Oh, I don't want to look at his traits. I've got my hand up, so I can't see. Can I not get rid of that bit? Because I feel that's a bit cheaty. How do I get rid of it? How do I get rid of it? Click on him. Oh, they're still there. I've seen him. <laughs> oh, wait. He's a... Oh, oh, I don't... oh, the nose. Oh, that might get passed down. Oh, I don't know. Meet and Zachary Hart on Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, I don't know if I like him anymore. But we're going to CC him, CC him up and... Um, he could be he could be a potential love interest. Okay, so that probably took me a lot longer than it should have, but I actually really like him now. He's very handsome. He's very nice. And I've just realised when I said I don't want to look at his traits, you guys can't even see the traits because my face cam is in the way. So you have to wait and see what his traits are. <laughs> he has got one bad trait to be fair. Well, I see it as a bad trait. Some people might not, but I do. And um well, not the best trait to have when you're in a relationship, but it's not non-committal, by the way. <laughs> I wouldn't go there. Let me know if you like Zachary, guys. Um, I think this is his hot weather wear look. Pretty basic, quite cute. Um, you know, we're just getting to know him at the moment. It's only the first day. We need to get a job. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think of him. I think it's pretty cute. I wasn't sure when we went into create a sim, but I can't be too picky. I mean, I don't know. But this is like, I don't know. I think he's really handsome now. I think I've done a good job. His eyes keep going weird though. We should probably really, um, oh my God, we really need a computer. Is there anything that we can look at around here that will give us some money to work on our, um, selling table that I really need to buy. There's just literally nothing spawning. That's so irritating. Ah, oh, here we go. Come and dig this up. There's another one here. We really need some flowers because once you get that garden going, you make a hell of a lot of money out of them. I just think, yeah, like I said, that suits me the best. Rather, you know, rather than writing and painting. Gardening would be the one that I picked to do. Why has she got a fringe? I didn't give her a fringe. Why is she... Oh, did you see that? She had a fringe for a minute? Nah, I've tried a fringe before. It did not look good on me, so... <laughs> I've done that horrible thing when I was... God, how old was I? Probably like early 20s and I thought it'd be a good idea to cut my own fringe in. Yeah, don't ever do that unless you're like really confident or you're a hairdresser or something because it just, nah, it looked like my child done it. <laughs> what do you want to do? Have a water balloon fight, buy a computer. I really want to buy a computer, Sam, but right now, you know, our bed's outside. So we need to have more of house really I suppose before we get a computer why did I pick this blooming aspiration 
because one of the point systems are the aspirations. I see there's a point every time you hit a target. So with the, um, the aspiration um, section, you have to, if you get four aspirations, if you complete four aspirations, you get one point. If you complete eight, two points and like 12, 16, 20, so on, so on. Um, and the 10th point is earned because each category there's a there's you can get up to 10 points um, and the aspiration one. The 10th point is earned by completing every aspiration in the game across the entire family, which I think is going to be really, really hard because with this legacy challenge, like when I um, unless I complete the aspiration, I can then pick another one. But so I have, you know, my next generation's a boy. I'm not allowed to pick his traits or his aspiration. It's all done by the legacy generator. Um, so basically that means my traits are gonna get passed down the generations. And so is whoever I marry and have children with gonna be passed down. So I don't get to pick any of them. So that might be quite hard to finish. Also, there is certain ones where you have to like, um, but I don't know how I'm going to complete the uh, city native one when we don't even live in the city. I'm pretty sure you have to live in the city for that one. University one, can't go to university because can't leave the lot. Even though you can go to university from home, can't you? There's so many to finish. So yeah, it's quite exciting. All right, she has collected quite a lot. It's getting late, but she's not very tired, even though she's getting a bit, oh my God, what is going on with the mouse? I'm not even controlling it, hello? It is getting late. She's not very tired. All she wants to get her skate on. But I think we are going to go home. Um, and then tomorrow we will be getting a job and selling some stuff on the old table. I'm going to put my prices all the way up and hope people don't notice that. Like, why am I buying a frog for £1,000? <laughs> some of these sims are silly. They don't realise, do they? Talking about these points as well. Like I said, I will put all the points in the... Um, description down below the website some there are also skills as well you have to complete all the skills to get points as well so the skills will be easier i think than the aspirations to be honest okay i'm just gonna let her sort herself out and we shall see you in the morning okay it's just come up founder day this is something i forgot to say now in this challenge, you have to have um, Founder Day, which is the day you start the challenge, even though it was yesterday, um, but I couldn't use that one because there was already um, a holiday or something and it wouldn't let me use it, so I've had to use today. And then um, we do need to um, eventually put in something that Sam really enjoys doing to do on Founder Day. And then when um, Sam... I don't know why I keep like, referring to her to Sam. Why don't you say me? <laughs> When I eventually pass away, um, it will be, oh, what is it called? Okay, so when I eventually pass away, the day I pass away, you need to make a new holiday and it's basically Remembrance Day. Um, so people will remember you like the founder of the generation. What are you eating? I would not eat cereal, but okay. I don't I do not like the cereal. Okay, we need to buy this table. I've just realised we're going to have plates all over our lot until we get a bin. Fantastic. Okay, let's just move all of these onto here. Even though I did want her to open this chest, but she's decided not to. Can we put our cereal bowl on there? Do you think someone will buy it? <laughs> okay, I don't know why she's not putting them ones on, but can we now uh, tend the table and uh, mark up prices to 300 that's probably a big risk, but let's see if we get any people come by. Hello. Come to our table. We have some amazing things. We have some My Sims. We have some a treasure chest. We have some handiness parts and an amazing empty bowl. I just have my cereal out on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Hello. Hello, son. How you doing? How you doing? Let's um, give him a sales pitch. Come and buy our stuff. It's worth the money. I promise you. I'll go and see you later then, mate. You didn't even buy anything. How dare you? All right, let's give a um, friendly... Well, that was a friendly introduction, wasn't it? Let's give a friendly introduction and um, give him a sales pitch. Come on, Aaron. We know you want to buy something to go with your funky shorts. 
Oh, oh, what did you buy? You just swiped something. He, oh, oh my God, he just swiped my bowl. <laughs> he took the bowl and didn't pay. That's not fair. Come on, Anthony. £100. What did you buy? The My Sims thing. Yes, son. That is what I like. Hold on. No, 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 no. Being greeted in a flirty way. I thought they were going to go and have a baby or something. <laughs> All right, Anthony, you can go now. If you're not buying anything else, see you later, mate. I'm not being funny, but if some man just come up to me in real life and was like flirty introduction, I'd be like, see you later, mate. I would not have gave him the time of day. Where's all the women at? There's loads of men coming. I wonder if, um, what's that man we met yesterday called? Zachary's going to come. Sam, stop, stop talking to him, look. We need to make some money, honey. All right, we're not getting on with someone. Oh, oh, we angry. Do you think they're married or something? He looks pissed. Okay. Come on, our yard sale's nearly over. We've sold one thing. Come on. Bye. Bye. Look, all these men are just not getting on. What's going on? Get the sales pitch. Hello. Buy my stuff. You know you want to. She's like, nah. Do you think they're too expensive? Do you think I should put it at 200? Oh, it's finished. Quickly start again. Okay. I marked my prices down a little bit and some stuff is being sold. So I say some stuff, I mean one thing. But people are just not getting along. I hope nothing's doing with me. No, it doesn't look like it. Like these guys have just been arguing. Oh, thank you. Watermark. Oh my God. I did not even recognize him there. What a makeover. Oh my God, she just, someone just brought the treasure chest thing, a time capsule for 210 simoleons. Come on, there's one thing left. Come on, Alika. Can you buy it for me? From me. Go on. Oh, he's back, is he? Yes! Okay, awesome. Right, let's stop this. Let's put this in our... Could we not put it in our inventory? Oh, clear the table, even though there's nothing on it. Okay, let's put this in our inventory. She's a bit peckish. We do need to find that job um, to start a career. I think I know what I want to do. I don't know. I'm debating between the cooking career because I do really want her to be into cooking. I used to hate cooking, but recently I found a new love for it. I absolutely love it. I do have some custom jobs, but I'm thinking. So yeah, even in the cul culinary career, or I don't know why I said that's so weird, or should we be in the tech career? Okay, as the cooking one, you only start on 15 simoleons per hour it's nine till five, this is 10 till six, but it's more money. I just think it would be something really cool to do. I think I'm gonna pick the tech guru one. One, because it's more money, and two, I just think it's more interesting. I don't know, I just think we can learn the cooking skill from home. I just think it'd be really cool to um, do the programming skill and um, be a gamer. We can end up being an eSport gamer. I think that'd be really cool. So they're now hiring as a live chat support agent. That's what we're gonna do. Even though we're gonna need a PC, we need to play video games. I think we're gonna leave it there for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm really excited to record again and see where we take Sam um, in her life. Let me know what you thought about Zachary and um, if you think the tech career will be good for Sam. Um, in the next episode, I just want to make as much money as we can, probably get back on that selling table. We'll be working um, just to try and make the house look a bit more like a house and not just a little shack with a toilet and a shed in. A shed, a shower. <laughs> but um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, I'm, I've now got a friend. Um, I shall see you in my next one. Bye.